everyone. I am continuing on today with another quick video for the easy twine binding. I just made a duct tape cover in my previous video for the rubber band binding um, and I'm going to use that same cover. If you need to know how to make a cover, look at the previous video. It shows how I made this one. Um, it's fairly easy. I am just using for my easy twine binding, I am just using some crochet thread. It's three size, 3.5 millimeter. Um, you can use anything. You can use um, st string, twine, yarn, um, whatever you've got. Something that's fairly, fairly strong. All right. So all we need to do and I've already cut off my piece. I'll show you how to measure your piece. You want to have a tail from the outside of your book. You want to hold on to your tail with your left hand. And I am putting five signatures in this book, so I need to wrap around my string five times to hold each signature. So I'm going to start on the top and wrap it around. Um, that would be once. I want to make sure my string is fairly tight and um, so that, that my signatures are fairly secure in there. So that's one time wrap around. That's twice. And you don't want to overlap your strings. You want them to be separate so that you can find where you need to put your signatures. That is three times, four times, and five times. That's as many signatures as I'm putting in. That's as many strings as I'm putting in. You can see that they're spaced out. And on the back, they're spaced out so that I can find them again. If they're not, it's no big deal. You can do it later. So here's the tricky part, guys. Here's the tricky part. Here's the string that you started with. And here's where we ended up with number five wraparound. You want to keep your string pretty tight. Um, you want those, those threads in here to be pretty secure so that your your signatures aren't going to flop around. The tricky part of this is you want to cross them like you're tying a package. So you're taking them um, towards each other, the ends towards each other to, um, to grab each other, to bend them on the opposite side. See? I've got my hands on the opposite ways, and I've got this little, um, let's see if I can get a close-up, close-up of it. I've got this little cross of the string. You can see that? They're holding each other. I'll show it one more time. Keeping my strings tight. This is the, the string that I started with, and this is the string that I ended with. And all I'm doing is bringing them together and, and tucking them towards each other so that they are against each other in that kind of a thing. Focus. Can you see that? Okay, so now that you've got them um, wrapped around each other, tuck one of your corners and it's one of your tails, and I always do the right because it's I'm a right-handed and it's easier. Tuck that tail underneath all those strings, tuck, and bring it out. So that you've got all your strings wrapped together 
and make a knot. I like to put my knot just a little bit towards the top. You can put it anywhere along the spine you want. Um, I just happen to like it kind of towards the top. And then I just make a square knot, keeping everything tight. Get my finger out of there. And one more time just for a nice square knot. And then I put, you can put beads or, you know, little charms or whatever you want on the strings, or you can chop them off. So um, all you need to do is even out your thread here. It got into the crease of the spine a little bit. Let me get it out. There we go. And a little bit on the top. You're really concerned about the inside. You want to make sure that you see all your strings. And like I said, I have five signatures. And I showed how to make a signature in the previous video as well, if you don't know how. Um, all it is is pieces of paper folded in half and stacked into each other to make a signature. I've got three pieces of paper in this one. And all you need to do is take the corner of the paper and tuck that into underneath one of those strings. So that puts um, your first signature in the book. Now the second one, you want, same thing, open up your signature. You want to go away from the signatures that you've done before and the thread right next to it. The right, right next to it. Tuck it your tail underneath there and bring that paper to the crease in the center and you've got your second signature in there and continue on. Here's my third signature. I'm going to open those up. My next string is the center string. I'm just going underneath that second string right there. I can see it tucking the paper underneath only that string. Sometimes the other strings want to come along, convince them they don't really need to, and slide that paper in that string. So you've got your signature. And you continue on until you get all your signatures in. Let me do the next one. And the last one, and you want to go away from the signatures you've done before so you don't get caught up in your signatures and fight the book while you're trying to put your paper in. It's much easier to go away from the signatures. A lot less aggravation. So there's my five signatures into my book, just like that. And I can um, move those pieces of string to where I want them. Sometimes they move around when you're working on the book, but I can move those strings. And you have got an easy binder journal that you can add paper to. Focus, focus. Now, of course, it's not going to want to focus. Thank you. Um, I like the easy twine binding uh, because I can work on the book altogether as it is. I can take those signatures back out um, and work on them and then put them back in. Going away from the other signatures is much easier. Um, I can add signatures, I can add paper, I can take papers away. If I don't like a page, I can take it out and I can work in the book um, fairly easily just like that. Um, 
So that is the easy twine binding. I hope that was understandable. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will be sure to answer anything that you have. Thank you for watching.